I'm not sure exactly when it began, but a prophecy has been circulating around Fontaine. The people will all be dissolved into the waters, and only the Hydro Archon will remain, weeping on her throne. I, Thosalor, hereby welcome you to the nation of Hydro, and acknowledge the value and significance of your trip. Now, you may rejoice in this. In your opinion, do you think it's right to treat a trial like it's an opera? To the people of Fontaine, the line between a trial and a performance can be a little blurred. Welcome, one and all, to the Opera Epicles. Watch carefully now. Blink and you might miss it. Step right up. And over here is my sister Lynette, who will be working as my wonderful assistant. Ta-da! the finale. Gradually swallowing our memories. It won't be long before it swallows us. We've been trying to find out how the Oratrice operates. We want to know why it has a consciousness. Why can it deliver sentences accurately? Rain. It's raining. We must know all we can about this nation's secrets in order to deal with that prophesized crisis. Is this part of the show? You've got to be kidding! Uh, what happened? Charges have now been pressed, and as such, a trial is in order. Therefore, you would be wise to tell everything you know and seek the protection of the guards. Dear God, it's a whole army of Gardamax. I believe this is indeed the finale! <laughs> your so-called justice, your beloved drama while turning a blind eye to the suffering of the people! In your eyes, the value of a human life is nothing compared to those cold laws you hold so dear. So this is how justice is done in Fontaine. What a joke. <laughs> You've got your rules. Well, I've got mine too! <laughs> <laughs> 